A cold Thursday, man. It's pretty cold out. So let's go inside and see what we got. What's up, everybody? All right. Let's talk about the the title of my video today, okay? Now, when I say apartment maintenance sucks, I don't mean that literally, okay? Um, let me explain. I started off in hotel maintenance for two years. I did hotel maintenance. That's how I started off, all right? But then the pandemic hit and all this stuff, so then I said, you know what? Instead of me going back to the hotel, um, let me try apartment maintenance. So I went to apartment maintenance in one of the worst cities in New Jersey. Okay? One of the worst cities in New Jersey. Um, I'm not going to name the city because, you know. But in that, I did it for about a year and a half, apartment maintenance. Now, when I say apartment maintenance sucks, again, I don't mean it literally. Because in that year and a half, I learned so much, so much about the trade. Um, to the point that I was shocked myself that I learned that much, you know. I think in apartment maintenance, you learn more quicker and faster than in a, and then, than in hotel. Um this guy that I work with, his name is Edison, and I gotta shout him out every time I get a chance. He took me under his wing. He was not even a manager. He was not even a, a boss or nothing. He was just a random maintenance guy that worked there, you know? We became good buddies. He, he said, you know what? So he took me under his wing and he showed me so much He's a vet, you know, he's been doing it for God knows how many years. And I took advantage of the situation and I learned so much from this guy. I mean, to the point that I was like, all my fears went away, my nervousness was, went away. I went in there with confidence, you know? It, it was awesome. It was awesome working with this guy. Now, our boss, now this is where the story gets crazy the boss that we did have um he he was an asshole i'm sorry he was an a-hole straight up and down um there was a point that um one of the work orders was that we had to install new tiles on the kitchen floor so i was doing it by myself mind you i was nervous i never installed no tiles or, or anything like that so I was doing my best. I went to YouTube videos, how to install tiles and stuff like that. And it, I was just nervous, you know, but I like to take chances and I just went and go, went and did it. So I'm on all floors and I'm in my hands and knees putting these tiles down. And here comes the boss to, 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 you know, to check up on the work. And I never forget it. And this is still stuck in my mind. You know, he, stood over me like this and said oh you do you missed that or, or you know you, he, he said you missed that tile and he kicked it he kicked the tiles while i was in my hands and knees to me that was the most disrespectful thing that anybody ever did to me you know i was upset i was angry to the point that I just wanted to drop everything and just quit and leave, right? So I call my, my buddy, Edison, and he goes, oh, don't worry about it. I'll be right there. He dropped everything. Well, he was he was in another side of the, uh, of the apartments. He was in another building. He dropped everything he was doing and he came and he got on his, um, and he got on his knees and his hands and help me. He didn't have to do that, but he did it. From that day, I said, I can't quit. I wanna be like him. 
You know what I mean? I want to be like him. I want to have his spirit. I want to have his, his work ethic. I want to be like him. So from that day, he took me under his wing and he showed me the routes and he showed me how to do it. So when I say apartment maintenance sucks, I don't mean no disrespect to nobody. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and big shout out to Lex Vance, okay? Big, big apartment maintenance guy. He knows his stuff. Big shout out to Ray's apartment maintenance. Ray, he's like cool dude, man. You know, he and I love I love his videos because he tells it how it is. He's not afraid to tell you, um, say how it is. You know, people like um uh, apartment maintenance pro i'm sorry i forgot your name but he knows i like the way he edits his videos and the way he does his thing you know people like that are awesome for apartment maintenance because they love what they do they you could see the passion because if you didn't have passion you would not be making these youtube videos you know what i mean and um so the reason why i left apartment maintenance is because i had a better offer in the hotel where I'm at, where I am now, and um, it's closer to my house and, and stuff like that. The only thing I did not like about apartment maintenance was the on-call, you know? We had to be on-call like every other week or something like that. I didn't really like it, you know, that's not for everybody, but um, I have nothing against apartment maintenance, but that's the only thing, why, one of the main reasons why I left it. But other than that, Apartment maintenance sucks for me, and I don't mean again. I don't mean that literally. I just say apartment maintenance sucks for me because of the experience that I went through. But in the same time, it was a blessing because I learned so much. So when I came back to the hotel, I already knew so much, so many things, and now it's easier for me because hotel is everything is uniform. All the bathrooms are the same. You know, er everything's the uniform here so it made it so much easier and now i have better knowledge of what to do because apartment maintenance and of course edison big shout out to edison if you're watching all right so that's why i mean apartment maintenance sucks not to you but to me all right so let's see what we get into today joe mm -hmm. what are we doing today Having a nightmare. It's a texture nightmare. Is it texture day? Yep. Let's see. What we have here is one gun that doesn't want to work, and another one that I hope works. Have faith, Joe. But anyway, as you can see, oh my God, today we are doing texture on the ceiling in this room because it was falling. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. See all the ball spots? Right there. Right there. Oops, right there. Uh, where am I pointing? Right there. All right, so in the next clip, Joe will show you how to use the gun, correct? I hope so. That's right, Joe's preparing some more spackle for the gun, as you can see. So those are the results so far. We're looking good. Mm. See that's pulling down again? Yeah. Because of showing where the ceilings are hard. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to scrape that again and, and spray it again where it's starting to peel back. What it's doing is the weight of the of the new spackle up there from the from the texture gun. It's you pulling on the sheet wrap, I mean on the paint that's up there that's loose. Do you think you need a thicker spackle? No, no, it's just I should have scraped more. Oh, you need to scrape. I didn't scrape enough in that one spot. All right. So how do you like your, the texture of the spackle on the gun? You like it how? I like it to be a little bit more wet so it goes on easier. If it's too dry, it's Yeah, it's like in between? Like in between maybe? Mm -hmm. If it's too wet, it's just a mess and then it takes forever to dry. And that's it right here, right? The texture? Now this is for par sealing. The difference is this has got little pieces of like styrofoam in it. Uh huh. So that's what gives it that popcorn look. 
Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? If you just use regular spackle, it would just be like the walls. Yeah. So you'd rather use the gun than the spraying can, right? Yeah, it's easy. I mean, it depends on what you got to do. If it's just one or two little small areas, you're better off with a, with a with spray can. can. Instead of wasting yeah. all that. Instead of wasting all the stuff in the thing, but we're going to use at least a can of that stuff. At least yeah, no, we got to do the majority of the ceiling, as you can see. Right there, Joe, right there, Joe peeled right all that already. It's very bad. That's where most of it was hanging. In the back. And you can see below the wall here. Yeah. I'm going to go up to the third floor. Over here a little bit. You can see. Yeah, popcorn ceiling. Texture. This sucks, but, you know, there's always a tube for everything. And that's the tube right there. All right, guys. While, while Joe's doing the texture in the ceiling, I'm gonna go check out this uh, refrigerator that is not cooling and a microwave that the button is not working. Let's see what we got. We're here in the microwave. They said that the knob is broken. As you can see, you turn. So what we're gonna do is just gonna replace the knob. Sometimes if you squeeze it in, it'll work. But guess I'm not gonna know that. So it's a very simple fix. Take the button out, replace it with a new one. So we're gonna do that. And then next, the refrigerator. Well, she's not, she, they saying it's not cooling. It's not extremely cold, but I could guarantee you, yep, this was very low right here. So what we're gonna do, don't ever put it all the way up because they don't freeze up on you. Let's put it like maybe halfway. When I found that it was at its very lowest. So I'll put it halfway for now and then they could control it from there later. All right, but she's cooling. She's cooling. So very simple fix. Let's just get a new knob put on the microwave. All right guys, with this, uh, with this knob here, I don't have no more because the only microwave I have left is, uh, I can't even see where I'm going. That one right there, but it's digital. This one has the knob. So what we're gonna do is I grab some of this uh, grip foam that we have. It's called grip foam. I had a little bit left and you put it in there. You can see I already have it in there and it'll grip. It'll cover up the, it'll take place of the piece that is supposed to be in there. Now it's not a permanent fix, but it'll do the, do the job until we get new knobs. I know some of you guys are thinking, um, oh, instead of putting that knob back with that uh, grip foam in it, how come you don't put a new microwave? Well, that's the last one that I have, the one I showed you, the digital one. And uh, I only save it for emergency purposes only. This one's still working, so. We gotta do it with this. All right, so let's go see how it works. So we're back. We got the knob with the grip foam inside. So like again, this is a temporary, temporary fix. It's not permanent, but it works. So put it in there, make sure the grip foam works. I mean, it grabs. We just felt the grab there. And that's it, you give it a test. And as you can see, you don't have to push it in no more. Now you could just normally operate it. Okay, there we go. On to the next one. All right, guys, with that, we're gonna wrap up the video. There was not a lot of action today, so that's good. But tomorrow is Friday, and I'm here by myself. So uh, Joe actually is still up there working on the texture. You see him, it's giving him a hard time, but you'll get it. But anyway, again, guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you ring the bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend about the Zuma Vlogs. Subscribe, and I'll see you mañana. Peace.